All right, it says rest up on the couch. I guess we're just gonna chill out for a bit. You know how they say your life flashes before your eyes when you're dying? <laughs> that shit's real talk. I saw it all, huh? Yeah. There I am, bleeding out. And suddenly I'm getting the third degree from Matsugane-san. Back when I was still just a rookie. Captain Hamura stares me down like, time to lose that pinky. And then, Higashi starts crying for me. Oh, if I'm gonna go, I ought to get a better final scene than that shit, right? Right? I'm sure it'll be rosier when the time comes for real. I'm glad you pulled through, man. That bastard Soma, though. Next time, he's fucked. We could have avenged Sawa-sensei if it weren't for that stupid ambush. Well, you didn't tell the cops about him, did you? Had to give the cops a statement, so I did. With a generous side of bullshit. That'll get you busted, you know. I'm joking. All I said was the truth. That I got knifed by the same twisted fuck who got Sawa-sensei. In that case, it's only a matter of time until Soma's arrested. So for now, we'll go after Kawana, the piece that ties it all together. We just have to find him before RK does. Kawana, huh? He's on my shit list too, just so you know. <laughs> huh? Kuwana must have had some sort of agenda back when he first met us. In fact, it's probably because you were looking into Mikoshiba. He piled around with me all because of that. I'm just a sucker of the agency, huh? I wouldn't say that. Still... The moment an ass for me to kick turns up, this is the shape I'm in. Just focus on getting better. Tsukuma will stop by later, too. What? Sugiura gonna give me the cold shoulder? He and I are off to question Mamiya. He said he'd drive us from Ijincho and everything. Alright, so meet up with Sigiria. I guess just go back to Yokohama night Yokohama 99. Skate around for a bit. Or hover around for a bit. So, they're saying that he was the homeroom teacher for that class. I wonder if he was in a relationship with Sawa-sensei, like, I wonder if they were dating or something? Or they have some sort of underground, like, avenge bullying type thing going on? I don't know. Be interesting to find out. So we have to see Mamiya? I'm ready whenever you are. Let's go. Yep, let's go. All right, let's do this. If your theory is accurate, then Mamiya was involved in both Kawai and Mikoshiba's murders. And even if that's off, we can at least learn more about Kawana-san as a teacher. Yeah, this will be interesting what she has to say. If she hasn't been killed yet. Hi, it's Yagami. I dropped by with Genda Law the other day. Not again. I have just a few more questions I'd like to ask you. You told me the last visit would be your only one. 
Seriously, why do you keep showing up here uninvited? Please, just leave me alone. I suppose I should mention, I'm here today as a detective, not a lawyer. So what? And my partner here is Sugiura. He's with an agency called Yokohama 99. Never heard of him. He's based in Ijinsho. He's working a case. Maybe you saw it on the news? The murder of Serio High teacher Yokosawa, killed in her own apartment. You and Sawa-san were classmates in high school, is that correct? After leaving Kurokawa 13 years ago, Sawa-san moved to Ijinsho to teach. Uh, are you still there? What is it you want? I haven't seen Yoko-chan since graduation. Now go. You're barking up the wrong tree. Maybe you'll remember Kitakata-sensei then. I ran into him at Sawa-sensei's home right before the murder. He was your homeroom teacher at Kurokawa, but resigned after the Mitsuru Kusamoto incident. Just like you, he appears to be connected to Sawa-san. So why am I being singled out? Can't you just ask someone else? Believe me, it's a long list. But right now, we're here to find out how Sawa-san got mixed up in all this. You two weren't necessarily on bad terms, were you? If I had to say, we weren't on the best terms either. Uh, how convenient. Because that's a perspective I'd like to hear more about as well. My husband will be home soon. Can you keep it quick? I'll give him my best shot. Exactly. Thanks for hearing us out. Hold on just a moment. Huh. wonder what's going on. You don't think she bolted, do you? Mmm, wouldn't count on it. She's calling we somebody. again? No, she's on the phone with somebody. Sorry to keep you waiting. I just wanted to clean up a little. Is your son home today? He's at English school right now. I have to pick him up soon. Doesn't your husband help with any of that? You said he'd be home soon, right? Excuse me, but you are in no place to make those kinds of comments. <laughs> Sorry. Didn't mean to pry. Well, what is it you want to ask? But if I piss her off, we might get booted, okay? Do you remember Mitsuru Kusumoto? Yes, we were classmates in high school. He jumped off the school's roof after his classmate Shinya Kawai bullied him. I hear he's still in a coma, 13 years later. Weren't you going to ask me about Yoko-chan? I was, but there seemed to be an awful lot of Kurokawa graduates surrounding this case. And strangely enough, they were all in your class. Kitakata sensei being the prime example, as well as a guy named Akaike san. Remember him? Well, you're right. We were in the same class. And would you say you're all familiar with Mitsuru Kusumoto's situation? Yes, but that's not a warm memory for any of us. I understand. I'm sure it's not. Have you been in contact with Kitakata-sensei lately? I haven't. He's... someone I'd rather not have in my life. Are you surprised that he stayed in Ijinsho after resigning from the school? No, not really. How about the fact that now he's using an alias? I had no clue. But again, he has nothing to do with me. I don't want to ask this. The groping was orchestrated, right? Excuse you? When Akihiro Ihara grabbed you on the train, you were in on that, weren't you? The whole thing was a conspiracy, staged to play out as it did. You need to leave. Right now. Mm -hmm. Dude, what gives? No one would even think to consider a predator and his victim could be accomplices. 
it's unheard of. But if it was to establish a murder alibi, that's another story, considering how much lighter the sentence is. That way, Ihara got away with killing Mikoshiba, paying only a fraction of the price. But as luck would have it, proving it is going to require you to cooperate with us now. If you don't get out the second, I am calling the police. I mean it! It took me quite a long time to figure out how you and Ahara were connected. But once I learned Yokosawa attended Kurakawa, it all started falling into place. She was in your homeroom class. She looked after Toshio Ahara. She was the link to everyone. <sighs> but just before I could ask her about any of this, she was murdered by Kamrocho gang. That same gang has been hunting your old teacher, Kitakata-sensei. What is it you want from me? Mamiya-san, do you have any idea where Kitakata-sensei could be? He may be Kawana the Handyman, but he hasn't answered his work line since Sawasan's murder. I don't know! He was my teacher a decade ago! I barely remember his face! Well, I'm willing to wager Kitakata-sensei still <laughs> remembers yours. I'll prove it right now. Oh, God. See for yourself. No. This was recorded at Kurakawa Academy 13 years ago. Feeling nostalgic yet? It was well hidden. Your Kitakata sensei had it on a USB drive. He really didn't want this thing being seen. The most interesting part is the date. It's the very same day Mitsuru Kusumoto jumped off the school roof. And hanging out in the back, we see you, laughing and cheering right along with the other bullies. Guess it's safe to say it's a good thing your family wasn't home. Wouldn't exactly want them seeing this, would we? Has this video come up? Has Kitakata-sensei ever mentioned to you that he had it? Delete it. Considering the angle, I get the feeling that this was recorded in secret. And based on your reaction, did you even know it existed? <sighs> you know what happened to Mitsuru-kun. He's been in a coma ever since what you did to him that day. But still, only one of you took the fall. Shinya Kawai took all the blame. Well... Sort of, being that he got fired, Kitakata-sensei took heat, too. Still, you all just moved right along with your lives. You've even got happy little families. What? Are you expecting someone? Amiya-san? I knew it. She was on the phone with somebody. <laughs> I knew what would happen someday. What do you mean? Who's it gonna be? All it right. You wanted some company. Do it. Really? I was in the middle of... I couldn't do anything. Alright. Kick her. Well, this turned into a shit show. And would the you student. look at that? Our old friend Akaike san showed up to play a part. 
So you are all working together. What should we do with them? They're the jerks who hurt Tsukumo-kun, right? Break every finger on their hand, it still won't make you even. Come on, they may have more on the way. I have an old haunt in mind we move this to. And Mamiya-san's coming with. Huh? Let's not cause a scene, okay? I'd hate for a finger to slip and post this video. <laughs> well played. Oh, we're back at the arcade. Hey, you think this is your personal jail, Yagami? What makes you think you can keep bringing captives here? Well, it's the safest spot we know. Doesn't it feel good to be such a reliable friend? Yeah, Higashi, be cool. We won't be around long. Be cool? You think time's the issue? This is about respect, man. What's your call? We kicking him out? <laughs> oh, He's quick still there. Higashi-san? Kaito-san got shanked in Yokohama. What? What the fuck? Kaito Aniki? By who? You'll know once we're done explaining. Let me introduce you to Mamiya-san first. She called up her friends to come after us just a little bit ago. Yeah, and I'd do it again. I don't give a shit about that! What happened to Aniki? You better have paid him back already, Yagami. Fuck those RK assholes! And how could Aniki have let him get to him like that? Now that Higashi sounds up to speed, should we get to it? I imagine Mamiya-san doesn't want to drag this out. What do you intend to do with me? First, you'll tell us everything you know. We'll decide how to deal with you afterward. 